This video is part two in a series of three and in this one I'll show how you can use interpolate subpaths when you've got multiple layers in a design. For the first example I'll create a design that is using different sized rhinestones for each layer and in the second example I'll show how you can create a design using the same size of rhinestone for each layer. For this project I'm going to start from creating my basic design. Now what I plan on doing is adding rhinestones to each one of these shapes. So I'm going to start in the centre. So I'm going to click on the circle and then I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. Then I'm going to draw a small circle to represent the rhinestone. Then I'll go path, object to path, and now I'm going to resize the rhinestone. So I'm just locking the padlock, so I only need to change either the width or the height. And I'm going to make this 4.5 with the aim of using a 4mm sized rhinestone. I've got one circle, I need another, so I'm just going to duplicate it. You can see I've got two. Now for this next part, and for this project, it doesn't matter where these two are in relation to each other. What is important is both are selected. So just select them both and go Path Combine. Now I'm going to open the Path Effect Editor. So I'll go Path, Path Effect Editor. And then I have some more options. In Apply New Effect, I'm going to select Interpolate Subpaths, then click on Add. Now I can just see I've got five circles, the same as I have five steps. But what I want to do is paste it to that circle that I copied previously. So all I need to do is click on this little icon of the clipboard and then go and find my design. I find it always moves. So if you think it's disappeared, just go looking for it. Now here it looks like I've got four circles and there's five steps. One of those circles is actually underneath the others. So in steps here I'm just going to increase the number to increase the number of circles until it looks how I want it to be. Now I'm quite happy with that so I'll go path, object to path. Just leave it aside. Now I'm going to create the layer for the small flower. So I'll select the small flower and copy it to the clipboard. Then I'll draw the circles to represent the rhinestones. Go path, object to path. Then I'm going to size a rhinestone. So the first one was 4.5. This one I'm going to make 3.5. So then I duplicate it. See I've got two. Select them both. Go path, combine. Now path effect editor is already open. And interpolate subpaths is already selected so all I need to do is click on add click on the clipboard but I'll just zoom out first now I'll click on the clipboard once more I need to increase the steps to increase the number of circles that we're going to use for rhinestones then when you're happy with the look of your design go path object to path let's just move that one aside now we'll move on to the larger flower. So just select the large flower, copy it to the clipboard, draw the circle to represent the rhinestone, go path, object to path, resize it, we'll make this one 2.5. So I've got one circle, we need to duplicate it. You can see I've got two, select them both, go path, combine. The path effect editor has got the same settings, so we'll just click on add. I'll zoom out so we can see the effect and then click on the clipboard. Increase steps again. Now I'm happy with the look of that so I'll go path, object to path. I'm just going to select all three parts and use alignment and I'm just going to align them central. Now they're aligned, while they're all selected I'm going to go Path Union and as I like to use my design as a stencil cut 
I'll just draw a square then place it behind the rhinestone design I'm just going to select both and use alignment again just align them central while they're both selected this time I'm going to go path difference just make that darker and there we have it one stencil design ready for your rhinestone creations so I'll move on to the next project and I'm actually going to use the same design here and I'll leave the path effect editor open on this project for the circle and the two flowers I'm going to use the same size rhinestone so the steps this time are a little bit different I'll start in the center again so I'm just going to click on the circle and copy it to the clipboard now I'll draw a small circle to represent the rhinestone and I'll go path object to path and resize it I'm going to make this 3.5 then I'll duplicate it see we've got two go path combine while they're selected in interpolate subpaths I just click on add then I click on the clipboard let's increase the number of steps like the previous project I've got 13 steps and I'm quite happy with the look of that but this time I'm not going to go object to path what I am going to do is duplicate it now just watch carefully as I drag this aside you see how the selected one went back to the original don't use the original for the next steps always work on the copy because if you work on the original the copy will change as well but if you work on the copy only the copy will change might sound very confusing but hopefully it will make sense in a moment I can see I've now got a circle but I want it to be a flower so what I'll do is, is click on the small flower copy it to the clipboard click back onto my rhinestone design and paste and you can see the circle has now changed to the flower design so steps we need to increase we've got 13 from when it was a circle so let's just start increasing them 37 steps I'm quite happy with that so I'll duplicate it move it aside and you watch it will move back to the first one but this is the one here that we're going to work on so what we need to do now is select the larger flower copy it to the clipboard and then click back onto your rhinestone design and click on paste so we've got 37 steps we need to increase them and before you finish the project remember you can just write down the steps for each layer to give you an idea of how many rhinestones you need so the large flower needs 45 the medium flower 37 and the circle in the middle 13 so you can just add up those numbers and you know how many rhinestones you need now I'm going to select all of my rhinestone design and use alignment I'm just going to align them central now if you remember earlier on I did not do object to path as I created each row of this design so while they're all selected I'll go path object to path then I'll go path union once more I'll draw my square to go behind them just change the color so I can see it I'll send it behind just going to select both parts and align them central and while they're still selected go path difference let's make it darker and there's a second rhinestone design ready for cutting out hope you found the video helpful and feel free to visit my blog at cuttingtime.blogspot.com where I'll be posting more hints and tricks and troubleshooting solutions